I filmed a whole two days in New York before this, but you guys actually can't see that footage until months way down the line. Top so secret. It's actually top secret, and it is one of the most exciting things that I've ever done. Actually, it is the most exciting thing that I've ever done in my entire life. Except marrying me. <laughs> the biggest thing in my career. We are on our way to a lunch right now with some Z some of Zach's co-workers or peers or colleagues, as you would call them. And then I don't know what else. I think I want to go shopping. I mean, yeah, I saw in our hotel on floor three, it said shops. I don't know what that means. I want to go to Saks. I want to go to Rebag because Lisa from Sephora was telling us all about Rebag. She said that there was actually one here, so I really want to go do that. So yeah, we're just <laughs> walking a straight line. <laughs> I am really hoping that I can post a little Instagram teaser for it. So guys, comment down below what you think it could possibly be. The possibilities are endless, and I guarantee you, none of you will get it. We're gonna keep our stride. We're gonna get to lunch. And Drew, you should include that clip about the ice cream truck, because that's a real danger. You gotta be careful. Okay, okay. And I heard from Joe, who lived in New York for a very long time, that they carry baseball bats in the back of the ice cream trucks, and they defend their turf from other ice cream trucks. It's true, that's what he said. Okay. It is now like close to five. Was the last time we talked to them when we were walking to the lunch? Yes, so basically oh, we walked to the lunch, we had a three hour lunch, and then after that, so yeah. had an hour long meeting. An hour long <laughs> investor meeting, and then a 30 minute catch up with a colleague. Um, so now we're finally back out. We are at Rebag. You tell the people what Rebag is, um, I don't know. It's basically like the real real. It's like they sell used bags. Oh, so, it's just for bags? Yeah, I just wanted to take a look. Oh. There's also like a Gucci down there. We're, we're just Avenue, hanging Madison. out. Yeah, we're off the the shopping There's stuff. a Fendi over there, so Dior. So we're just gonna be walking around a little bit. Also guys, look, I bought, remember when I hauled these sunglasses? I was like, oh, I got these sunglasses. I'm finally wearing them. What'd you rate it? We were in there for five minutes. It was a bust. I didn't see anything I was into, which is okay. It was a small store. Like, it was a cool store, but I just didn't see anything that caught my attention. The way I shop for bags is if I don't immediately love it, I don't, like. Yeah, you gotta fall in love with it. Immediately. Like, and also, I'm glad we didn't walk here, because my arches, guys. Walk here to be here for like five minutes. Let's go this way. I'm found footage in you. Found footage. Oh, you're fast. <laughs> New York. I have to go into Prada. It's the biggest Prada store I have ever seen in my entire life. It's two stories. Everyone knows Prada's my favorite brand. I'm so excited. I think we're about to be let in because I think this one's about to be let out. There's pressure. They have to decide when to let you out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like literally so excited to go in, but I know that like in these stores, they don't normally let you film. When I worked at Case Spade, you couldn't film. And the reason they said for that was because they didn't want any competitors stealing their floor plan. They could just go to the store, bro. Yeah, but then you have to take pictures or remember. So they just don't want any competitors stealing like their floor plan. <laughs> Or the the photographic memory. They go in and they recreate the sketch for I'm just saying that's why when I worked at a nicer store, they didn't let people take photos. I don't think that they'll let me record in there, but we'll see if we do Look any this damage. Lighting, babe. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I adore the checkered floors. I want a house with checkered floors in it. The house we're like trying to build, it has proposed checkered floors it in reminds the laundry room. I love it. It's giving Sims 2001. To the ice cream. Do you guys say card? <laughs> no, no damn it. just cash. Dana, Dana, Dana. Oh. Well, no ice cream for us because we suck. He said. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, sorry. Now I'm living in 2022. Wow, well, then you just lost a sale. Then you just lost a sale. <laughs> Whoa. They're doing full wheelies on pedal bikes. It's like a pedal bike gang. Almost. Because they're going to pull up to the ice cream truck. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're at our second ice cream truck. I don't see anything that says cash only, but the other guy didn't have anything that said cash only either. The other guy cursed at us. These also sell the same thing. The same thing. Basically. And over here, it smells like horse manure. Which is better. Cash only. I see it right there. It's a sticker. Oh, it's tiny. Oh, it's no. a tiny cash only sticker. There's probably an ATM over here at the print manager. Okay, okay. No, wait, wait. There's one second. We're not going to okay. make it. Okay. I literally saw a woman's doggy trash off of the, the ground. It, it, it housed it. It, it was, was like, eating it. It kept dropping it. And this woman was walking so far in front of her dog <laughs> that it, like, it was eating a dirty napkin off the ground. And there's a lot of bodegas over here, so we could probably get... There's a wine and spirits. There's going to be an ATM. How? Ice cream will happen. Okay. It's happening. The ice cream saga is about to have a conclusion, baby. We found an ATM. We got out some money. And now we're getting the goods. Yeah. Except it's $100 a cone. We got the ice cream. It's so good. What did you rate it? Oh, it's the best. The best? What's your ice cream taste like? Mmm. The best out officer. 20. I knew it. 20, See? 20, 20. So that's why they have to carry baseball bats in their truck. Oh, man. They're 
so brave. Seeing in public is so scary. They're good. <laughs> they're good. <laughs> That's probably why they're so brave. If I told you guys this necklace was from Claire's, would you believe me? It is. It's so cute. Wow. Are you shocked? It's a very nice necklace. It's cute. <laughs> it's, it's saying, it, it's screaming Versace. Like literally, it's just a little gold plated M. Like what a find. Okay, so we wandered into a bar called the Ascent Lounge and we're waiting for our reservation at Momofudu. But basically they have all these really fancy drinks. So Zach and I thought we would give one a go. We thought it was a restaurant. <laughs> well, okay, so we were walking by and we were trying to read menus outside of restaurants and this woman was like, oh, you don't have to read that, you're fine. Like basically it was a thing about the dress code and I was like, huh, what? And then basically we just kind of ended up in here, so. You know what? I love that about the city. You just wander, you meander, meander, I'm a meanderer. You meander <laughs> and you find joy. We, you probably saw the footage of Megan seeing that person singing. See, that's from meandering. The more you meander, oh, the more you discover, bless you. Thanks. Whoa. Mine is in like a vase. And the flower is edible. It's you, edible? Yeah, it's edible. Do you want to eat the flower? Did she say that? Yeah, the menu says it. Edible flowers. Tastes good. This is really testing the camera so the light function. That flower's pretty good. My straw is glass. Is your straw glass? Your straw is um, stainless steel. Stainless steel. Let's give it a go. It's delicious. It's so good. Oh yeah. Taste mine. No, I don't like vodka. You'll like it. It's good. It is delicious. Right? What's it's this? It's just vodka. This is like gin, right? No, it's a margarita. Well, that's good, like avocado. It's a Don Julio margarita with avocado puree, lime juice, and black salt, Himalayan salt rim. Okay, so we got crispy chicken sliders and also these Wagyu beef sliders. They're pretty good. Zach ate this. I need to have a bite of mine, it's so good. So good. And we also got pork dumplings. So good. It's delicious. We decided actually not to go to Momofuku. We didn't like the vibe they were portraying, so here we are, eating eating here. We are heading out to lunch. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling very self-conscious about how this vlog is turning out because I just feel like it's been a lot of like walking and checkups and not a lot of we showing. We just comfortable with being in front of a bunch of people and talking about well, it. Oh, I forgot lipstick. And it's not even that, it's just like, they don't let you film inside designer stores and we went shopping a bit yesterday. I pulled out my camera in Prada and the guy just about tackled me. Yeah. So we just haven't really done anything that we could really show. So I'm just feeling a little subconscious and I'm open to critique for things you guys like to see, things you guys don't like to see and more. Speaking of things you want to see, here's our hotel room. It's um very messy right now, but it's got a really beautiful view. View the Hudson River. That's where the miracle on the Hudson happened. Yeah. So we're staying at the Mandarin Oriental Hotel. I've always wanted to stay here and it is very it's really nice. nice. It's really Nice. You have to take two elevators to get to your room. You take one elevator, go mm -hmm. to the 35th floor where the real lounge is mm -hmm. and the reception. Mm -hmm. Then you have to get another elevator to go to your room. Yeah, so it's really nice. Um, I'm really loving it. We did buy it with- put deodorant on. Oh my gosh. Oh. We bought it with Amex points. So we are feeling very efficient. We've utilized the resources given to us. Outfit of the day. So we are wearing our signature jean jacket. I have like this white long sleeve on. Like it's just like, this is the only outfit I own for colder weather. Yeah, I feel like I wore this exact same outfit yesterday, but I didn't. I wore I like I a black sweater. Closet. You got sweaters, you got hoodies. Mm, you have well, I just want to look cute. This jacket is warm and I'm wearing a long sleeve you look under cute it. in the winters. So you got, you got clothes. I think another thing I'm feeling self-conscious about this vlog is all the lighting has been so dark. Like we're about to go into a restaurant maybe and that might be dark as well. So I'm just feeling like. <sighs> It's New York. Okay, we found a little street market. So cute. So we're about to like see if we can see anything. There's a lot of cute stuff. It I feel so like it awkward. Has all food. I know. Well, I no, because look, there's other stuff here. Those dresses are so cute. There is a lot of food though. We were supposed to go to lunch, but maybe this is lunch. There's Who knows? There's sweet corn. There's kebabs. Yeah. There's tacos. things here. I'm feeling so shy though. Why? I just am mm. a shy person. You just gotta put yourself out there. I'm a shy person. Ooh, look, it's pottery and that's the artist it's who made pottery. it. See, I'm just shy. I'm just shy. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You said it was like uh, sweet corn with like mozzarella? Sweet corn with mozzarella. I think it's like crushed sweet corn into like a dough and then yeah. mozzarella. It looks like a pancake. <laughs> it's very hot. It's yeah, really he, good he though. Yeah, he said it's so hot he gave you like three or four napkins to like hold it. Well, I wouldn't put that in your mouth yet. Oh no. Uh-oh. Wow. Is it delicious? Oh, it's so good. How it burns. <laughs> I'm so good at we burns. Don't have a, we don't have a drink. <laughs> we gotta go back and buy a drink. <laughs> we found this place. It's called, what is it? Buffy Algodon? That's correct, yeah. Buffy Algodon. You can follow them. And look, they make all sorts of fun shapes. Oh. Fun candy, and I'm gonna get a Pikachu. I'm so excited. It's gonna be delicious. Who doesn't love cotton candy? I just ate that entire Pikachu con candy, so I'm feeling very fulfilled. Everybody was walking by like, oh my God, look, con candy. candy. Oh my God, Pokemon con candy. Because like on display, they had the Dumbo one. I they should have like done the Pokemon They should have did the Pikachu one, one yeah. We're making a detour. Are you like this close to my face? No. <laughs> you are, yeah. We are making a detour at Saks. I have a $50 gift card, so I'm really hoping to rob them blind in there. Any comments, Zach? I'm right. looking to you to- I'm excited to see if you can get something for $50. <laughs> they probably don't have anything. So basically we walked forever because we're looking for the Balenciaga and I said it was way back there but actually it's inside Saks because I called and I was gonna be like how do I get there and it was like welcome to Saks Fifth Avenue and I was like which means they probably have like two shelves of like I know like I was really excited but hey we're here so we're gonna go in and I'm excited because I think you can get away with filming a little bit more in Saks I think we did last time right yeah I think so <sighs> I don't know. The way we were treated at Prada yesterday. Just like two miles too. I know. The way we were treated at Prada yesterday made me feel so bad. I hated it. You want to elaborate? They just like it was. Well, like they just followed moments. you the whole store. Like and this closely. It was really awkward. Look how cute this is. Look it's at it. It's cute. It's pink. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. They have so many cute things here. Like I'm loving. I'm loving the pink crocodile. <laughs> We made it to Balenciaga. And I was right, it's like four racks. I know, it's elusive. It was very hard to find. The only thing I'm seeing right now is this. And I don't think it's I need to spend money. money. I don't think I need to spend money on that. No. Hey, look at this. They have like a Simpsons collab. Oh. I really want the blue hoodie I have, but in, in lilac. Lavender. And they sell it. Lilac. Lilac. I just can't find it. Oh, this is cool. Like spray painted. Yeah. Mm. Too similar to something I already have. Yeah, and it, it's <laughs> and giving. What? It's giving what? It's giving just like garage sale jacket. I think Balenciaga's brand is garage sale. Couture. Well, then they should change their prices because I could get that cheaper to garage sale. <laughs> they have this. Ooh, that mint is pretty, but no, I want. I want hey, you asked for it for Mother's Day. No, I'm okay. And Mother's Thank Day you. is coming. I know. And then everyone's going to be like, you're not a real mother. Yeah, she is. She's a mother to four fur babies. You're not a real mother. <laughs> An excuse to get a gift, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could click my heels together, but I just don't know how. Yeah, I get a lot of air. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> now tell oh. the people what we heard about this place. Okay, we heard that down here at Rockefeller Square, where they normally have the ice skating rink, they've converted it into a rollerblading rink, or not yeah. a roller skating rink, if you're picky about the difference. Also, we just went into Saks, and I'm having a bit of a dinner crisis, because we went shopping yesterday, didn't see anything, went shopping today, didn't see anything. Feeling totally unlike myself. Just wasn't in love with anything. And also just didn't feel like spending money. So maybe I'm growing up. Yay, and that's good. <laughs> yeah. You're Crisis. a chronic shopping addict. So you not shopping, now you're having withdrawals, but you also are conflicted because there's nothing you want. Right. But you have to scratch that itch. Yeah. I'm having a bit of a moment. I'm having a bit of a first world problem. <laughs> That's how it always is in the ice skating. I too. think I think it'd be so crowded that you'd be like, so here's the deal. I'm very good at rollerblading. I'm actually really great at rollerblading. But every time I go with somebody, they run into me and they knock us both over. Yeah, I remember Ouch. like skating as a kid when you would go to the roller rinks, all of a sudden like some kid in front of you would fall and then you'd have to like not kill him. which I like basically. No oil, no coal. No oil, no coal. It's like the no ban single use plastic water bottles. Which I'm holding one right now. No planet B guys. And it's in buy less stuff. So I guess, you know. So the see you're already yeah, contributing. Already, already contributing. Uh, by withholding and not buying excess. No, that's cool. I got a flyer. A couple days ago, I met up with Paris selling on Roblox. Ooh. And we had a good time. So somebody was like, thank you Paris for this. Enjoy playing with you. Oh, so I guess somebody else is here too. Okay, we are at 
at Brooklyn's Diner and I'm very excited. It's a little bit noisy, but we are stopping for lunch. What'd you get? I got a quinoa salad and a waffle grilled ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> I got a waffle grilled ham and cheese sandwich, a chicken soup, and then this hard cider that's really good. Yeah, I just got water. Um, I'm finding myself to be very dehydrated. I thought and you were gonna get a milkshake. I thought you were gonna get a milkshake. Oh, I should just get a milkshake? That's what I thought. And a cider? Why not? Oh. <laughs> they mix together in your stomach. Yeah. You don't, that doesn't sound fun to you? No. Not if we had to walk back like two miles. Oh, I cannot walk back two miles. You guys, we're walking back. We're very fit. <laughs> so good. Oh my gosh, it's really hot though. I just picked it up with my whole hand number. Right from the center. No, <laughs> it's burned. But guys, very exciting stuff. This is my first time participating in Pokemon Go Community Day. I am like so excited. We have all these stumbles around and I'm trying to like catch them all. I got a shiny and everything, so it's just a good day. It's a great day. <laughs> How is it? It looks so good. It's hot. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Whoa, generous. Mm -hmm. All it needs is some tomato soup. That would be great. Mm -hmm. Okay, we came back to the hotel, took a nap, we just hung out. I'm getting really bad blisters on my shoes or on my feet from my shoes. Those Prada boots, I thought they were broken in. Turns out they're not. Now we're just gonna probably take a cab down to Times Square to see Beetlejuice. I am so excited and I am so happy because I think that it came back to Broadway because of all the TikTok hype. They were like, well, we really have to get back on this. So I'm very excited because we bought our tickets pretty last minute and they were still like a couple seats left. So I'm gonna go and it's gonna be so fun. And well, Zach's gonna go too. And then I think we're gonna go around for dinner. I'm about to switch to the iPhone though because I don't think that, you know, I'll be able to take my camera into the theater. Not that I'm gonna film anything from the show, but if I'm carrying around the camera, there's a chance they might like not let us in. So I'm just gonna be vlogging tonight from my cell phone. Okay, we're at Beetlejuice. And we're during the intermission right now and it is so good. It's like the best thing ever. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And we're literally in the very first row. Oh, it's been so fun. I've never been this close before where you can like see the actors' faces and like, I feel like you can audibly more understand what everybody is saying. Beetlejuice said, I eat my feelings. He did point his back and said, this guy knows what I'm talking about, about eating his feelings. But you know, it was just part of the show. No, it wasn't. It was that just, was our direct attack. It was, it was, he was just looking for a guy punched, in the first row. He punched me in the face. He did punch him in the face, can't confirm. But it's really cool. Of course, there's no videos or photos during the performances. So we've seen Wicked, we've seen Doubtfire. Yeah, we've seen Wicked and Mrs. Doubtfire together. We've seen a few other ones together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we saw SpongeBob. I don't know if we've seen anything else together, but this one is so funny. I'm so glad that they brought it back. I want to bring my mom to this one. Okay, we just finished and we are walking back to the hotel now because it's 11 p.m. and what time is our flight? It's like early. <laughs> yeah, we had to wake up at 6.30. We're just gonna head back, go to sleep. Um, but that show was amazing. I really hope I can convince my mom and sister to see it. It was, I don't know. it was like the best one I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they're gonna wanna see like Mrs. Doubtfire or Wicked or anything like that. Hey, the if you guys are here for like a way. week, go see two. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking we could maybe see two. Because Mrs. Doubtfire was really good. That was really good. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I appreciate it. Next vlog will be in LA, so it's kind of like crazy. We're, we're world travelers at this point. We are. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>